up guys, Sane here. Uh, just give you a little walkthrough with one of my personal sleds this year. This thing started out life as a 850-165 Pro, and it is now an 850 with twins, 155 Chaos. So we didn't do anything with the tunnel. The 165 slash tunnel and the 155 in season matrix tunnel are the same. So it has a slash um, snow flap on it, but it's just an, it's a regular matrix essentially. And yes guys, it still does bow ties and all that crazy stuff like you would not believe. So if you're you know concerned about not getting a slash because you can't do bow ties, it's not true. Go buy an in season model. It will absolutely rip. It has zero issues in deep snow. They work very, very well. Okay, so um, let's just start off at the front. You know, we ended up putting a T-Rex hood on it. You know, it's a lightweight hood. I'm not exactly how much weight we saved. I would guess probably a good eight pounds of weight savings there. Um, SLP Twin Stage 2. Those add about 17 horse with just the pipes and about another five or six horse with the head. Very, very fun combo. Uh, full Arctic Effects wrap. You know, it was a great, this is called the Cobra wrap from my good friend Ryan McConnell. Thanks, buddy. Love your wrap. Very, very cool. Going up top, we have a full Kyber bar setup. Kyber's out of Canada. If you haven't heard of them, look them up. Very, very cool stuff. High quality products. And this is a very, very important deal. You having the biggest connection with your snowmobile and having it where you want it. Um, this is a 730 millimeter bar. It's about the same width as a stock bar. It comes on players. We have a seven, yeah, 75 millimeter riser. Uh, these are about three eighths of an inch lower than stock. Uh, the five inch, yeah, five inch black Polaris bar. I like them just to stitch lower for the main reason is as soon as they come to me, you know, as soon as I go up the hill, the bars come closer to me. So that's very, very important. We have a little shorty brake lever on here from Kyber. Super comfortable. A lot of people are really, really liking that. If you haven't heard of them, look them up. Kyber brake reservoir cover. Looks really nice, clean. You know, it's not big and bulky. Really nice setup. We have a Kyber throttle block that's been working very, very well. I got about 200 miles on it so far. I'm super happy with that. And then to top it off, we have the Kyber attack grips. So if you have, like I said, if you haven't heard of Kyber, look into them. They're a newer company. They've been around for two or three years. We've been working with them for about three years. Absolutely love the products. Great people. My favorite part about this setup is the switch relocation. Your reverse and your kill switch are down here, out of the way. Trees can't bump them. You're not ripping buttons off. Very cool setup, super clean, works very, very well. Um, another cool component for the 850s is the new 9Rs and the Boost this year in 23, they have a vacuum operated power valve. So when the vents get clogged off, the valve opens and it can still suck even warm air. Warm air is better than no air. Uh, SLP builds a cool product, it's called a powder valve. They've been selling them for, I don't even know how long, at least 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, they've been around a long time. Same, you know, same, ideology as, as the Polaris one. Who knows, maybe Polaris stole from them, I doubt it. But uh, it works really good. It's on the bottom side of the intake. You can't even see it when you when you take the hood and stuff off, but it's just a little vacuum off your flapper valve. So an engine is just an air pump, that's all it does. It's just a pump. And so when these get clogged off, or if they get clogged off, it'll start to pull vacuum and it'll pull that open and it'll let air come through so you don't lose your line or something like that. So another cool little thing that you don't see on these sleds that we run quite a bit and it works very well. So hit them up, SLP powder valve. Um, going up front, these are Raptor limited edition kinetic shocks. Um, these are a lighter shock than, than what they normally produce. Uh, so, you know, so we kept them. I've had these for about three years, sent them off, get them rebuilt, stuff like that. But very, very fun. This isn't completely done. This will end up having a Raptor 37R Hellfire front end on it as well as Zollinger um, fillet spindles. And then down here we have SLP Mohawk skis. They're a little bit more aggressive. I really, really like them um, for a lot of the stuff I do. So pretty cool shout out to SLP. I've been running those skis for a long time. Very, very good product. Um, underneath the hood we also have pretty much every single titanium piece that ZRP builds. It has a lightweight brake rotor, it has the lightweight flywheel bolts, it has all the lightweight P85 components. It has the quick shift bearing, it has the whole quick shift lightweight billet kit and everything that holds that. It's running all SLP clutching. We have a seat, co seat cover, very, very cool company. They just got into snowmobiles, I, I believe about six months ago. Probably the best website I've ever been on in my entire life. You can go in, you can customize it however you want, 
shipped out of Canada and it was here in less than a week from when I clicked the button and set order. So very cool. Very, very cool. You know, just a fun little thing to help customize your snowmobile. It's super sticky, which I like. So that's pretty rad. Um, BM Fabrications. Rear bumper. We haven't put the front bumper on because we're trying to make it work with the twins, but the front bumpers are also amazing. But this rear bumper, man, is straight beef. With these matrix models, with the tapered tunnel and things like that, and also the slash models being shorter, these things are phenomenal. We want some extra strength back here. These things are constantly on their rear bumper, so we want all the strength that we can get, and it's got some great looks, man. BM Fab, once again, if you haven't heard of those guys, look them up. Phenomenal people, great products, fast shipping, and lots of different colors. We actually love Brian, Matt, all of those guys. Great crew, phenomenal people. And then down low, um, same thing, it has some limited edition uh, Raptor shocks on it. Sorry, boys, a little tired. Been riding a bunch. Ice Age, these are the normal rails, they're not the bomber rails. I wanted to save some weight. And then we have the Hellfire rear wheels. I really like these rear wheels mainly because they're billet and with how much time you're spending on the rear axle on a lot of these sleds, they take a lot of abuse with logs and hard snow and stuff. And with it being billet, it's a, lot, it's a lot harder for the bearing to rip out of the wheel. And the plastic wheels tend to do that, you know, sometimes we have that happen every year. So, shout out to Ice Age. Very cool sled, super fun, not quite done yet. I was going to build a 9R with twins, but I didn't know when I was going to show up. I was very, very happy with my 850 Outlaw Twins last year. So, you know, shout out to all these companies. They all do a great job. This is a really, really fun sled, and I uh, can't wait to go shoot some videos for you guys. So guys, that's enough about the sled. Let's see this thing in action. You know, let's see if it runs. Let's see how it does. Let's see if it does bow ties with a regular matrix tunnel. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on. I wanted to get a sled built before we start hammering tours. And, uh, you know, we've already commenced tours, and the sled's pretty much done, so it's nice to have one done. Working on my boost over there. So uh, let's see how this thing does. Ho, 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 ho.